There is dramatic new video tonight of an armed robbery that led to a deadly police shootout at a Fort Myers McDonald's restaurant. A police canine was killed along with one of the suspected robbers after two men barged into the store in Colonial last September at gunpoint. NBC2's Jamie Ugas is in the studio with what new video reveals about that deadly day. And Jamie, I've seen a lot of surveillance video. This is truly incredible. Yes, it's very amazing. This was a scene outside the McDonald's on Colonial Metro following the armed robbery and shoot it out. And tonight, for the first time, we're now going to take you inside the store where two men pulled a gun on the manager and forced him to the ground. It all started with one McDonald's employee, Leandro Furman, who deputies say purposely left the back door open for the two robbers as he takes out the trash. Then a manager goes to check on the employee and the dramatic armed robbery begins. Gilberto Amaya and Cayman Bright walk inside to get cash. Here you see one of the suspects on the floor hiding, demanding money from the cashier, all while customers wait on their orders and wonder if something's wrong. As I pulled up to the window, I can see the employees on the floor inside. I don't know if the place is getting robbed or not. Minutes later, he gets the cashier's attention. I called 911. I think she just said, oh, she's just saying they're closed right now. Moments later, officers arrive on scene and the suspects take off, one on foot, the other in a black Jetta. This is when the two canines are let loose to chase them. Roscoe was shot to death by 17-year-old Cayman Bright. Officers return fire, shooting, and killing him. The chase ends in Lehigh Acres when Gilberto Amaya rolls his vehicle into a ditch. Now, both Gilberto Amaya and Leonardo Furman were charged with second-degree murder. Furman worked at the restaurant, and he's accused of intentionally leaving the back door open so the other two men could rob the place. Craig?